All right. How is everyone doing? It is Friday evening, about seven o'clock, May nineteenth. Um, I am just checking my mic level. There we go. All right. Um. Anyway. Um. This evening. If you look behind me to the left, you'll see a pig. Well, your left, not my left. And to the right, if you look very closely, you'll see a mountain. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're going to uh, work on the flower farm and um, bearing anything that, you know, going wrong or what have you. As it will, because this is Minecraft. Um, we're going to finish the wiring and the flower farm will be functional. I won't call it done because it won't look pretty. I mean, other than the flowers, you know, they'll look pretty. Um, but yeah, we'll be able to use it. Because I did some mining off camera. And, uh... It's now ready for us to, uh, to, uh, to wire it up. As you can see behind me. I had a heck of the time, of a time rather, with uh, getting all the levels the right height uh, to get all the flowers. Um, I learned the hard way that not only can the flowers that are two blocks high spawn in with world generation as as we'd mentioned this before the these the rose bushes um the the lilacs and the, the peonies all the flowers that are two blocks high, you know, they will spawn in with world generation, but you can't get them to grow by bone mealing the grass like you can these other flowers. Well, it turns out that the other types of flowers can also spawn in with world generation, even if they're only one block high in areas that don't match the flower map. So I had lilies of the valley all over in this section here and up there at multiple heights. I had them down where the blue orchids are at multiple heights. And so I kept adjusting things to accommodate for them. I even pulled this thing over to the side a little bit to, to catch the lilies of the valley. But every time I bone milled it, I wasn't getting them. And finally it occurred to me that maybe they spawn in with world generation. So I, I, I yanked them all up, I threw down bone mill on the level that they were on, on the same spot they were on, and sure enough, I got these things. So I went all over the flower forest, which isn't that lar large. And I could not find any natural occurrence of lilies of the valley. Only world generated ones. So our flower farm is going to be generating every flower type except that one which is disappointing because i i spent a great deal of time trying to get all of the different types of flowers i wanted every single flower and i even went above and beyond to get orchids in here which is an entirely different biome but alas no lilies of the valley which is okay in the in the scheme of die because they give you white believe it or not white tulips give you light gray um as do those the azure bluette things so we can still get white from bone meal but the idea was to not use bone meal for dye use it for other things which makes our moss for farm we're going to build even more important and speaking of, our, our moss farm is actually going to be a bone mill farm. And that's going to be wired into this farm too. And that's not going to be finished tonight because I have to teach myself how to make it.
which I will try to do this weekend. But the rest of the farm will work. It just won't have a fuel stop. Brought this thing out. This thing was I, I went up and down with this. With I, I ended up going with a stair, a, a, a tiered stair thing, and I tried it at various heights because I was trying to get the lily thing. And this is the height it was when I was trying to get lilies, and I was going to go down that way. And I chopped down all the trees and everything. Um, so our whole plan to make this like mesh in with the landscape was uh, sort of got off the rails by uh by virtue of me having to change the height so many times that the hill's essentially gone um so i'm gonna come up with another plan for uh how we're gonna incorporate it into the landscape or what we're gonna do it might just we might just make it an open air thing and then do some maybe some murals on the wall some pixel art type things like a mo not pixel art more like a mosaic type thing we'll, we'll see we'll see what we do um but i spent some time after work today before i started this stream getting some materials together so that we can go ahead and wire this thing up and i I did some pre-measuring and I know where to go with everything. So let's talk about how it's going to work. Um, I am going to line the back wall right here from this side. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So from that side over to that side, the back wall will be dispensers and they will be filled with water buckets. And we will power that so that it makes water go down each of these tiers. And each one is seven blocks long and water can flow eight blocks so it'll get to the edge and go down to the next one all the way to the bottom. Um... We will also be powering dispensers, which I've already worked out the spacing. I've only did it up here. But uh, there will be one, two, three, four, five dispensers on each row, spaced in such a way that every block up here, on every, every block on every tier is covered with um, the ability of the dispensers to bone mill everything so the idea is we're gonna automate it in such a way that all the bone mill gets activated and immediately after the water gets triggered and then immediately after that the water gets triggered off so that it cascades all the way down but not so long that it turns the water or turns the grass into dirt because none of the stuff can grow on dirt it has to be grass um, and that's what we're going to do tonight. And then hopefully we'll have a bone mill, uh, farm going sometime by, before the end of next week that will fuel all the dispensers or not fuel them, but, but, um, keep them fully stocked in bone mill and, uh, I might make that that farm a little more OP than I originally anticipated because I am going to need extra bone meal for lilies of the valley. And uh, I might even build another moss farm back at spawn that's just always running um, for the same purpose. Because the uh, the bone meal farm that is part of the iron farm isn't really going to cut it for our needs as we get the world more developed, but it was a good start and I'm glad we have it. So, um, let's look at what we got. We're going to need 70 dispensers for this job. Actually, that's not true. 
Um, we're going to need 102 dispensers for this job. Um, <laughs> and I think I'm a, I'm short by five because I, when I dug those holes and then I went and made the dispensers, I was thinking I'd already made those dispensers, but I didn't. So yeah, it's going to be, uh, 75 dispensers in the ground and 32 dispensers up there. Then another, um, is eight double chests or four double chests rather and 32 35 hoppers I think is how it's going to work out so um let's get started on putting it together we'll start with the dispensers up here Didn't mean to mine that one. We don't need two spaces in our hot bar. Let's let's see. Let's try. Um, that'll work. And then if we raise that one, that should work. Yeah. We'll probably end up moving this another portal as well. Well, that's fine. We're going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to put something there anyway. There we go. All right. One then. I'm going to need a bunch of other rack eventually. So but I need dirt more right now. So we'll go with dirt and we're not on the mushroom Island right now. So it's important to shriek. Or we get creeper city over here. You can see I mine quite a lot. And I got more than three of the pillager raids, but those are all the banners that I, I kept. Um, there are a couple where I didn't kill the captain, that's why I didn't get the, the banner, and a couple where I accidentally did. Let's, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. I'm going to leave these open because I'm going to use this to dig the rest of the holes, mark it, mark out where I want to go. And another thing I'm going to do. Is I'm going to kill this spider. Because He's annoying me. We 
have a bit of a mob farm down here. Let's uh, rectify that. Because I don't want to listen to these guys, do you? No, no we don't. But uh, it, this is another, so like th this guy right here. World generation not does not match the flower map. I wasted hours. I rebuilt that thing probably, f the, the, the platform for all the flowers. I rebuilt that thing probably five, six times. Trying to figure out why I wasn't getting lilies of the valley. When it finally occurred to me that maybe they don't match the flower map, maybe their world generation, and it turned out that was the case. Very, very frustrating. And I'm out of torches. Okay. We'll just have to deal with that. Then. Fortunately, I'm not working in a dark place, so them being in my offhand is not that important. I just keep them there because if I don't, I'm not really in the habit of putting torches in my offhand and I'll forget to um, and it'll get dark and then the stream won't be able to see okay we'll worry about torches later I don't man, well, well we'll check the ender chest maybe there's some in there but I think I already took those because I was lighting up a different day I did okay that's fine So now, we'll just go, and we're on 1710. Or also, I, I know it's, it's three from each side. Go. I'm gonna need more blocks. Let's grab some. we'll have to power these as well but we just gotta get them in seventy five of them <laughs> oops So I'm going to have to do this. It would be prudent, I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. So maybe get some scaffolding too. Yep. 
Yep. Um, we're going to have to do that all the way down. And you know what else? We're going to have to go get more torches because this thing is not lit up. As you can see, I, I've, I've gone up and down, up and down. You can even, like... Well, I was going to say you can see remnants of it, but you can't. We're going to need to light that up. Or it's going to be very difficult to work in there. Let's go ahead and make torches now. I got to go back to our base for that. We're also going to need... Two blocks behind each of these. Well, oh, right. You know what? Let's make them all match. Whoa. Our nether chest is getting kind of full. So we can use that. You know what, though? Um, while we're here. We can go ahead Oops. there. Gonna need those for uh, the dispensers we gotta make. I'll be back in just a second. I'm not even going to put the uh, the away message, the be back soon message up. It's going to be that quick.
Okay. I have returned. Um, let's make those torches. There we go. All right. I do know my uh, stream schedule for the next couple days now. Um, well, really just tomorrow. I will not be streaming tomorrow. Sunday is still a possibility, as is Monday. But I don't know if I will be able to do either of those or not. He got me. Yep, he got me. There's an arrow in me. Oh no, right through the lung. Ooh. Got about a little bit of lag since I exited the nether. Maybe sleeping will cure it. Probably not. Ah, it's messing up my jumps. Oh, I almost got me on that one. do it here too because spiders can spawn under there we'll just take it this grass is doing nobody any good right here but we can do some good with it elsewhere so let's take it I tell you this lag is super annoying though, and uh, I am Pretty close to restarting the game. Yeah, we'll have a little Patrick. Especially when I'm counting blocks and I get lag and it's like, did I move the cursor or not? That's like really frustrating. That's like, jammed and you can see the things you want but can't reach them frustrating but or, but more so
Yeah, we get everything. You know what? That's uh. Well, I was gonna say let's get down here too, but I can't quite get down there. Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. Okay. See, the, the lag is making me even, I can't even like line up when I'm, it's literally pixels. It's confusing me on. Because sometimes you move during it and sometimes you don't. It's not consistent. Um, how many more we got to do? See, you did it there. I'm trying to count three blocks. I can't even look that far without it doing something. This actually is going to have to be. Okay. Because our redstone has to connect to all these. So there has to be a line of uh, some mobility there. So I can get the redstone in. You know what? I'll put them in as I'm installing the redstone. I'm not going to worry about it right now. One row done, four more to go. And I'll tell you, another thing we can go ahead and do. Where? Eight, I'm all turned around.
There we go. And we'll plant that. Anyway, as I was about to say, another thing we can do is we can actually go ahead and put the collection system in. Uh, it goes down here, of course. out over this way It's going to feed it to right here, at least for now. just have one chest right now and I'll put the others here okay. let's get some shriek before all the creepers start showing up and undo all the work that we've done I I'm always a uh, averse to rebuilding things from especially when it could be like prevented like a creeper blew it up if i mess it up and tear it down that's one thing but if a creeper blows it up like really i mean that could have been prevented but more so when i built this thing almost 10 times i don't want to build it again i'm done building it I, and, the, and the whole point of building this is really for these but I, I didn't see the point of, of building it just for one flower type when, you know, we're going to need other flower types in the future. Let's just get them all right now. Let's clean up our inventory a bit. Let's clean. Let's empty everything. Um. I sat my ender chest down somewhere and didn't pick it back up. There. <laughs> Don't like to be without that. Okay.
There we go. This is not, this is annoying. <laughs> this is super annoying. <laughs> I just want to fill up the bucket. I don't care if I drop some of them. Okay. Go get the rest of the bucket. There we go. And if I count it right, we'll end up with two buckets left. I made enough to have everything we needed as well as create an infinite water source in the event well I wish I noticed that I mean I wish I'd remembered that I noticed it and I just forgot I kept forgetting to fix it and it does not matter which of these slots the buckets are in. I miss counting. Because I should have two left and I'm going to have none left. Unless I didn't pick some up. That was a weird jump. That sort of thing that happens when you lag. Um, what is this? A stone button. Why do I have 25 stone buttons? I only need one. I don't even know. How that happened. I must have grabbed a bunch when I thought I grabbed one. Okay. 
make sure we got one in all of them. Because by my math, we should have two buckets left, and we have no buckets left. Thanks, we had 34 buckets, and I'm pretty sure there's 32 dispensers. Okay, we got one in each of them. Well, 713. There's 33. We should still have one. I don't know, man, but whatever. What I'm doing is I'm 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 going ahead and setting up um the dispensers. And I think I'm going to go ahead and activate the water because the dispensers all down there will be much easier to do if I can see better without all the grass. Let's, let's give ourselves a little more space to work with. missing some repeaters or I set them down somewhere oh dear I had a stack and a half of repeaters and I have misplaced I guess I'll be making more repeaters. It'll be faster to make them than it will be to uh, find wherever I put them. Um, anyway. Redstone only carries us, uh, it, it only goes, uh, when you power it, it only goes 15 blocks unless you put a repeater down. 
So, um, that's what we're doing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe. That lag is making it hard to count. When I'm putting down redstone, it's just, it's probably silly, but in my head, it's easier if the blocks underneath it all match or you can get mixed up over the silliest thing. Okay. Let's turn the water on. Nope. Okay. Let's just make a easy way in and out real quick. Why didn't these two fire? Is that? Now, this isn't supposed to happen. Um, I think the holes here are confusing it. Let's just get rid of all the holes. Let's turn it back off as well. Okay, why didn't that turn it off? Because I'm creating a loop by having those two close, that's why. Yeah, that should have turned it off. There we go. Why haven't you turned off?
it's because they weren't activated when the rest were. And are these doing that too? No. That will sink them back up. Okay. Now we'll watch the water go down. These holes are confusing it over here. Water is dumb. Actually, water is smart. It seeks out the lowest point and it goes there regardless if that's where it would naturally go. But I didn't know it would do that, like, targeted this specifically. Okay. And because it's already chosen its path, it's not going to spread out up here. But when we do it again, it should... Uh, it should work as intended this time. Okay. Let's dump all these in. And that too. So we'll turn the water off, make sure it all turned off. This would be so much easier if I wasn't lagging, but it's like knocking me off blocks because I'm not, my fine movement is robbed of me. When there's a stutter that happens every few seconds that is inconsistent whether or not it affects my movement my brain could learn to correct for it if it if it were consistent but it's not okay the water appears to be working as intended this time and you can see it Yep, that's how it's supposed to work. Yep, just like that. Yep, and there's all the flowers. And because we have more orange and red tulips than anything else, that's why we're getting so many of those. We have quite a number of pink ones as well. Those are just... That's how it's going to work, where it's not going to be an equal distribution. Uh, but that's okay, because we're going to get them at the volume where equal distribution won't matter, because we'll have so many. And we'll sort them as well. Each flower will have its own chest. So that should turn it off. Yep. Okay. So 
So I'm going to uncover all these again. No, that's not right. Well, there should be one here. <laughs> I guess I missed that one. Three, one, two, three, one, two. Yep, that's right. There should be one here. No, is it here? Thumbs off. Okay, that's right. This one should be here, which means I need to make the whole thing one wider. What I tell you, bearing anything like this happening, which it most certainly will, we'll finish this tonight. Uh, we can still do the wiring and everything. I, I just have to push this over one block because we're losing one block all the way down because these can go three on each direction that's how they work i just miscounted at some point yep well, that's an easy fix i'm not gonna do it right now though but with all the grass gone it's much easier to lay these things out. Which these are all gonna have to come over. Glad I didn't make all the stuff out of obsidian.
Tunnel should be the last one that we have to fix. All right. So this one is too high. There we go. Let's let's make sure we didn't do that on the other one. Okay. Very good. So we just need to do that all the way down. One, two, three, four more times. Well, I don't feel like it right now. Let's do something else. Let's build the timing mechanism for this thing. Oops. Actually, here's what we'll do. We'll take a short break. I'll restart the game, get rid of this lag, and then we'll build the timer mechanism thingamadoodle. It's an etho hopper clock is really all it is. Named after uh, the person who built it, uh, invented it, etho. So, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And apparently while we were restarting. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, that's way better. While we were restarting, uh, it became night. Okay. So, oh. Etho Hopper Clock. Very small. Not complicated. I won't say I can always build it from memory, but I think I, I'm going to try. Okay, 
Just, just giving myself some room here. Because I'm going to be like walking around and looking. And I don't want to just like keep falling into dumb stuff. Okay. First off. I need to get the stuff to build it out of the chest over here. Um, well. I had the stuff. I was sure I had it in that. Did I put it in this chest? I was sure I put it in here. Oh, goodness. There's supposed to be two, two sticky pistons in here. can uh, hook those up to the bone meal farm as well probably okay so I'm missing a stack of repeaters and two pistons and I have no idea what happened to them I guess I will go make a couple pistons I'm not going to make the repeaters right now I don't need them uh, for what we're doing at the moment. I, um, I think I'll check one other thing though real quick. Oops. I had seen something over here. I just wanted to. I thought I. I thought I saw something, but I don't see it here now. Well, I. I'm not even sure where I am right now. That was very disorienting. And now my rockets aren't working. And now they're working with a delay, and that nearly killed me. Okay, this is some weird 
different type of lag going on now. This is not me. This is a server. Before it was me. Okay, two of these. Oops. Did I put the computers back in here by accident? No, they're not in here either. I don't know. No, those are comparators. Gonna need a heck of a lot more redstone though. Or no, I have a few blocks of redstone in that chest. I need wood and iron. There we go. What am I missing? Cobblestone, which I have back. Yes, I'll use this. There. Wait, nope, down this way. Let's hope the nether doesn't try to kill us with lag again. make the ethel hopper box first we need did i accidentally put all the redstone blocks in my chest back in the base i hope not okay fine i guess i did We need that. Oh, and we're gonna need, I think. Five of these. I think it's five. And then let's see, this goes like that, I think, and like that, and then that goes out of there, that goes out of there, yeah, and then doop, doop, doop. Is that it? Um, I'm gonna 
off switch. Let's go, Shreep. turning the water off and on very good but the water is being all weird and going into these holes which won't be there when we do this for real but that's that's working properly now what this thing will also do is it will send a pulse to all the dispensers um that have bone meal in them all these ones in the ground but it will send them at a different rate i'm gonna there's a way to send two pulses from the same action um of this thing going back and forth And so we'll have one pulse shoot out and, and activate all these. And then the second pulse will, will uh, activate these. So first pulse, bone meal, poof. Flowers everywhere. Second pulse, poof. Water gets shot out. Then the third pulse will attempt... Or the next the next round will attempt to bone meal everything, but it won't be able to, because there will be water there. Um, the dispensers will get a signal to shoot out bone meal, but they won't shoot out the bone meal because there is nowhere to shoot it into because of the water being in the way. So we're not wasting bone meal. Um, then the next pulse will turn the water off. So basically, the, it shoots out a pulse, we get bone meal, we get flowers. Shoots out another pulse, water cascades down to harvest the flowers. Shoots out another pulse, pulls the water back in. Then the next pulse and series of pulses, that repeats until we turn it off. Now, I'll show you how this works. Um, we've got two pistons here, pulling and pushing a redstone block. The redstone block... Um, is basically activating this line of redstone that's doing all this stuff here. Turn it on the dispensers. And the way it works is these comparators are sending a signal to the piston telling it to move. Um, and this, this happens uh, basically when these seeds transfer in and out back and forth between the hoppers. The comparator reads that, oh, it's empty now, and it sends a signal. Uh, the, the, the comparator is basically comparing, is it got something in it, or is it empty? And every time it's empty, it sends a signal to the piston to push. And it just, it does that on both sides. Every time it empties, this one sends, and this one empties, and that one sends. And that's how that is done. And then of course we just stop it with the lever. So that way we can just turn it on and let it go for, you know, however long we want. And I don't have to press a button like, you know, every 10 or 15 seconds or whatever, it, it'll just go. And then when I, you know, I can stand down by the chest Build a little safe place down here where creepers can't get me. 
and just watch the chest. And when it has a sufficient amount of whatever it is I want, um, or you know, we'll we'll actually, like I said, we'll be sorting this. So I'll I'll, I'll watch whatever chest uh, I'm has the flower I'm interested in at that moment. And when it has enough. We'll come back up here and we'll turn it off. Or we might even make it so that we can activate it and deactivate it from, from the collection area. That's that's totally possible as well. Yeah. So... Um, it's coming together a little more slowly than I had hoped. But it's looking good. Yeah. So I think uh, this is where I'm going to call an end to today's stream. I, I know I said by the end of it we'd have this whole thing working, but it's we run into a couple of things. So I spent an hour before the stream like getting all the materials together, and they're not in the chest I left them in. I don't know where they are, so I had to go back and make that. That took some time, and um, now I realize I also have to move the wall on one side of the farm over uh, by a block. So. Um, that's just not going to happen tonight, but even though the stream is, the stream is ending, I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'm going to maybe hop back on and complete it. And I don't intend on doing a normal stream tomorrow, but if I complete it, I will hop back on a few minutes and just record it and, and publish it so it can be watched by everyone who watches later the completion of it and how, and they can, you know, you can see it in action. So. Um, I do appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I hope you have a great weekend. And um, other than a short one that I might, no promises, but might be able to get up tomorrow morning. Uh, I will see you early next week, Sunday or Monday, probably. Um, not sure yet. Could be Tuesday. Basically, I'm not sure what nights my girlfriend is staying over. Sometimes she stays through Monday morning. Sometimes she leaves Sunday evening. I just don't know. And also, my mom asked me to help her move something, but I don't know if that's going to be Monday evening or Tuesday evening. I, I, I don't know yet. Um, but I try to keep consistent regular. I do. I really do. Um, yeah, so have a great night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you when I see you. And uh, you've been wonderful. I've been Captain Incredulous, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>